Hello and welcome to itradeames.net. Yeah, I'm sitting on my laptop and I thought, why not make a video from this place that I'm in? Okay, let me just move this down here. So yesterday, this is where uh, the New York opened. Price went down immediately. A strong move up and a 45 point stop loss. I don't think I would have taken it. If it was somewhere over here, a smaller one, I most probably would have taken it and that would have been a two hour. But I was stuck somewhere. Let's call it traffic. By the time I came around, it was this. So as you can see, when I see, I saw this low and this strong move, I wasn't really keen on trading anyway because it had moved, uh, let's say, yeah, it's 290, 300 per points. So I didn't want to trade. That's all the market has the potential for. And it did that. Uh, somebody asked a question why uh, there was a signal on their feed over here. And I said it wasn't a good one and they were not sure. So let me address that. So when we take a signal, we look at the impulsivity of the move. I mean, you have to do this analysis as well. So that's your breakout phase. That's your first pullback. And then it turned into a channel. So it would be something like so. So that's your channel. And the other line, I don't need to draw because you have these two lines showing you that channel. Uh, let, let me actually just draw it because then I want to show you something. So if this is your channel, it's going parallel. This is the first time it breaks the formation of the channel. And, but before that, we have this candle where you have a wick that came to the same. And this one also has a wick. And this was a rejection. So when this happens, then I want price to go below this. And because this is so close to this one, I would rather want it to go further down and then come back. And as you can see, um, that's why this was the beginning of the trading range, the first break of the channel. Uh, indication that it might turn into a trading rate that usually happens it came down and then here it was confirmed that it couldn't break the low that then turned into a trading range and I drew these lines and then price bounced went all the way up came back down again the same levels a lot of people get trapped here by going short on a breakout but this is where they buy as you can see they bought here and they took it all the way back to and they took it all the way back to up there as you can see if you if you were applying the trading range trading techniques then you would buy at the breakout around here or somewhere there or at the close of this candle when you can see that it clearly rejected it or after a confirmation candle which would be this you know you got your first indication that the range was not being broken it was rejected buyers were getting stronger and the next candle also tries and gets rejected so you have two tails hanging out of this trading range you go long at the close of this candle or above the high and your target is obviously the trading range high which is over here and you can see the trading range bots people who trade trading ranges have shorted it here with stop loss somewhere up there and what are they targeting they're going for the next few points to the low of the range again over here it did not touch the lows you could go long but it hasn't gone and now you can see that if you sold over there it did not really go down so you will have a break even kind of trade or a losing trade then it breaks that it breaks the trading range, comes back to it, it actually goes inside, so I lose interest in it. And I mark this again as a trading range because not, not at this point, but after this point, because I'm looking at it, as you, as you can see, this is my trading range. It's becoming a triangle, right? It tries to break, and I was looking for a signal over here, which was premature because the impulse is not really clean. I want the impulse to be like this, so it should have gone somewhere, you know, I just change this so change the ray formation and make it a bit thicker so if it came to around this level and then we had a pullback then these lines would be open and we'll go for long but this was just one candle that broke out and after that is trading range trading range trading range candles and then it doesn't bounce against the heights so there was no force in this as well so indicating that there are not there aren't many strong buyers in there and then comes back to it, does not break it. Now it's creating another trading range and we could have made another line over here as well. So this was itself a trading range. Then it breaks that trading range inside the trading range and corresponds to the previous trading ranges over here. And just so by this time you're not trading it, you don't want anything to do 
with this market unless it breaks clear of this level or that level, which it finally did, and that's the point. It finally does this break. So it's not a really strong breakout, but it is um, a sort of a break off a trading range or a continuation of a momentum of trend, uh, continuation of trend with a little bit of momentum, and then it pulls back and there's a great clear rejection which means that more buyers kicked in and then we had a four signal here so if you went long on this the stop loss was 30 and you made your so this required a lot of patience because uh, that's 1630 and the signal is at 1810 so that's um well it's still within two hours but 16 17 18 yeah still within the two hours so could have been taken and as you can see I will not be taking this again because of the same concept that this is the move one this is the pullback and that's up so if, if you apply the Elliott wave on this this is your three this is four this is five so around this time you don't want to uh, trade on this time frame but when price go, starts going sideways maybe on a two minute or a three minute chart this would have been a nice pullback and so that is the story of the US session yesterday I did not get to trade anything there you go. See you later.